Right, Pirates, it's Saturday the 15th of uh, December 2018. It's bloody hailing and it's settling. Oi. Oi. So I've got another one of these sets of lights that we put up the mast and we're going to put them all around the railings and, yeah. and all that today and get some more up in here. Craig's put some down the galley. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> du, du, du. I just moved my bed sheets and that back because my hatch was open, it was snowing in my bed. But yes, check that out. Why is it every weekend it rains or hails or something? Mm. When you want to do something. When we want to do something. What's that, Craig? It's a pirate sign. Awesome! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. You can, for some reason, you can't see the snow in that on this phone. You don't see the rain. <laughs> it, I noticed in the video where we did the um, the, the firework procession, yeah. you couldn't actually see the rain on the camera. It's really no. weird. Yeah, it was chucking it down. And it was absolutely hammering it down, like it is now. I mean, it is really chucking it down. It's settling on the You see it settling on the carpet. So yeah. Oh god, if that all turns to snow, yeah. I'll have fun getting home tomorrow, won't I? That'd be fun, yeah. Yay! I love driving in the snow. It's drifting. It's awesome. The best is to wait two days when you get proper snow, because then there's no one else on the road. They've all finished crashing into each other. And then you can just drive wherever you want, and there's no one about. It's awesome. Yeah, so anyway, I forgot to get your camera out, but Steve's just uh, been and taken delivery of his uh, Pirate's Life flag, six by three foot. Um, I have got some more of them, if anyone wants to buy them, but um, they're good quality, they're not cheap. Um, I don't know, with postage and packaging, you could have one for 45 quid. But to put it into perspective, for me to get one made would cost 55 quid, so... So, uh, I know it sounds a lot, but they're bloody good. They are quality, and it's got the Pirate's Life logo on it. So yeah, wicked. And, uh, Mike, if you're watching this, we love you, mate. We haven't really, like, got the amp. We're just, like, you know what I mean? We were just venting about our uh, frustrations at the time. It's the thing with our videos, they're real. So, uh, no, uh, you know. We'll survive if you're somewhere. Yeah. We'll see what happens in the spring when everyone tries getting their boats out and uh, if any problems arise, then we'll just deal with them as they come. But yeah. That's what we do. It is what we do. Yeah. We certainly wouldn't want to be anywhere else, would we? No, no, we love it here. We do. Get treated well. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. Right, so what started off as a really like, oh, we're not going to end up doing anything today kind of uh, thing, has just suddenly transformed because uh, I suddenly remembered that actually I've got these um, uh, uh, voltmeter and, uh, not voltmeter, a USB and 12 volt um, power points that I'm going to put in my cabin. Um, I've been meaning to do this for ages, but I kind of forgot. So I'm going to have. Because that's 240 there, so I'm going to have one on this side and one down there on that side. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, a wire coming down from this side, a wire coming down from this side, under through the bed, connected together with um, bullet connectors so that I can disconnect and use the thing as an extension lead if I need to. And then I'm going to run a long uh, three-phase wire so they can both be used all together under all the bilge and uh, down into our uh, fuse board. So I've got so two of them spaces are going to be mine. There. Awesome. Awesome. So Craig will probably film me doing that. Yeah. Um, and then we've got all these lights that will, uh, will go on the inside like what Craig's done there so that I want to get it all the way around the, all the way around 
<laughs> All the way around. All the way around, and uh, then of course we've got the fifty metre ones when it eventually stops bloody raining. Yeah. Uh, to go around the railings. So hopefully right tonight. It's going to look good. We've suddenly got all motivated. Oh, yep. Awesome. Love it. So, uh, yes. So, don't be put off by um, electrics, especially 12 volt electrics, because it's really, really easy. So, we've got the USB sockets and the uh, power point. But, actually, it has a positive and negative on the back. You can't really go wrong. So you come into the 12 volt power source one and then branch it over to the USB one because potentially you'd be using more energy at that. That'd be a bit of a bit straight in, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so, um, but, so, as we're looking aft in my cabin, I'm going to have one each side of the bed, but I want the USBs to be closest to the bed so that if there's something 12 volt, it can sit back out of the way. So it's really easy. Um, so I've got two equal length bits of wire, positive and negative. I've trimmed it all up ready. So, right, we'll start with one. So I'm going to do... This one is... So there's, there'll be the starboard side, even though it's my port. So, positive in. Let me do that with these insulated spade terminals. Uh, yeah. So what you have to do is you have to put both of them. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably use one of the yellow ones because they've got a slightly wider diameter hole. So Twist. No twist. Right, so this is the scary bit that people get the, the confusing bit, well, the, the bit that confuses people, but it's really easy. Put them together like that. My torch on? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my head, though, isn't it? <laughs> right, put that like that in the crimpers. Actually, I just need to shorten that. <laughs> need to shorten the, the positive on this side. Just so they line up nicely. I don't know. Ignore me. <laughs> Twist them together. Terminal in. This time select the yellow. Just right at the back. Get that out of the way. Give it a good old squeeze. These yellow ones are the ones that you are most likely to get a bit of wiggling. Mm -hmm. Right, that's that. Same again with the negatives. Right, so, line them up to the right way. This, these ones can just be the single ones, so I use the blues because they're a bit tighter. Trim them down about 12 mils, probably definitely more than enough for these little ones, or even 10 mil. But you want to make sure you get a good uh, connection. Right, so they're that way. So I'll go through that way. You don't really want to have to be twist twisting all your connections in and yeah. you want a bit of wiggle room but not too much wiggle room that it starts flapping about and pulling itself off as it were. <laughs> Put that there. That there. Just squished on. 
So we go into the main one. Have I done the right way around? Yes, I am. Well, wow. that's a stroke of luck. So I didn't actually look at that. I've done a few of these though, to be fair. <coughs> well, that's on, that's on. Bridge it over, correct way round. Well, there you go. That's it. Simple wiring. I mean, to put a switch in, oh, I'll do that in a minute. So, I'm going to do the same on the other side, which you don't need to see. Um, and and then I'll show you how to wire a switch in. We'll yeah. do that in a minute. Aye, aye. Right, so... Here's my socket, right? So this is the... It would be the, the port side aft, but obviously we're looking the other way. So, we've got 240 there which don't have on the other side. We're going to my secret cupboard. Let's see where I can actually get to. So really, can I get it in there? I can get it in there, but it'll be really hard to wire it up. Oh no, I just... Yeah, because I've had this before. If I put it there, then it's sort of overhanging the bed, unless I go directly on top. Which I'm never gonna be able to do. Uh, interesting. Well, uh, basically, anyway, is what I was trying to do was to figure out where I'm having my switch. <laughs> so I know how long, because I'm going to wire a switch in a minute, but obviously you have to cut it into the, um, into the wire, into the power in and the power in wire. Right, I'll get back to you on that. Because obviously you drill the holes and you have to slot the individual bits into the holes and screw it up from behind and then put your wiring back on. I might have to shorten my loop. But anyway, this is what happens. But the, the, the main thing of the actual wiring itself isn't that difficult once you uh, follow a few basic rules. I'll show you the switch. I mean, the switch has got to be the hardest thing to wire in, really, out of most things that you'll you'll do, even though solar charge boxes are it's really easy because it's, look, you've got the thing going into the battery uh, from the battery into the box and then from the box out to the solar panel, it's two wires, it's it's really easy and the same with this is a bit more complicated <laughs> well, I, can't, I can't remember Craig wired that up so without reading the diagram, which I can't do through this camera uh, I can't remember how it was done, but they're the three in from the machine, and that's the, yeah, and that goes down into the battery by the looks of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. What are you doing, Craig? Putting some Christmas lights up. Awesome! Yeah. We got a plan, have we? I have. Good. The old pirate hammer. Don't go for any electrical wires. <laughs> uh, no, no lights went out. They're safe. Do we have lights? Hey, turn that one off, Craig. Hey, right, there we go. Right, so next we've got to wire in the switch. Now, as you can see on the switch, the confusing thing is there are three points. You think, well, positive, negative. But basically, you have a, a power in and a power out, and then uh, both the negatives connect together.
there we have it. So maybe we might have to swap the positives around if it blows a fuse when I connect it up. So that will sit in my room uh, like that. And then that switch will turn that on. Because otherwise, is what happens is you get the bloody blue light in there constantly and it keeps you awake and uses juice. So, mm -hmm. so I'll have that like that. This one on the other side. And then that will go down under the boat. This will run under the bilge and all the rest of it. Because yeah. it's got three wires, I can use two of them as po uh, positives and connect the two negatives. Yep. So that's how we'll do it. Um, so what I'll do in a minute is I will just test this by wiring it temporarily to the fuse board. Yep. Um, and we'll just see if it works, swap the cables around if we need to, and then that's pretty much how you do it. But honestly, don't be put off by it. If I can do it, because I knew nothing of this before I got a boat, <laughs> and now I'm pro, so. Right, so for the purposes of testing, We've got a negative that comes out from the engine, so I've put a bullet on the negative, match that, and I've put the spade on here. And now, in theory, if we switch this, it'll either blow a fuse or a work. Whee! Got it the right way around. So, on these fuses, right, let's have a look. The power in is the middle one power out so the one that goes to the um, lighter socket and that is your power out out of from the switch because it goes into the switch from the battery then out to your that so that's your power out power in and then both your negatives are wired to that so in theory as long as I do the same with the other switch on the other side then I wire them two together the ends of the two wires so the all the units both sides and the switches are connected by one and I'm going to put bullet points on that on the end of uh, the white free phase that we're putting through and is what that will allow us to do is disconnect it if we need to from down there and you put put an emergency bilge pump with the same bullet point connection configuration on the end and then we've got a, a power source in the bilge emergency whatever so you know always try and that's my that's what you know my advice is try and where you have power points if you configure everything you are in the same way and then you can always just alternate and put something from one end of the boat down the other end in a hurry without any anything so really good bit of advice yeah, that is old Captain Christmas over there. Yep. Wait till uh, we we pluck up the bollocks and actually get out and uh, yeah. clip that one up round the railings. That'd be awesome. I'm out. Hey, the dinosaur off with my hair. <laughs> I just done a star a minute ago. Right, it hurts by the way. Yeah. Right, so this one's gonna go here. We're gonna switch here, right? That's my plan. Yep. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill a hole through here, roughly where it's going to go, and just have the wire coming out. Yep. I'm going to thread it through the cupboard. Same on that side. Yep. And then I'm going to drill a hole down through there, thread them both through there, and put bullet connectors on them. Right. So, we're going to have to move the mattress. The reason I can't screw these in, 25mm switches, 20mm because that's our drill at the minute. Right, so forget what I said before. So these two ends that are split, so they're the uh, units on both sides. And the black wire in the middle here is the one that's coming up from the 
uh, fuse board. So these ones got to connect positive to positive, negative to negative, how we said before in the bullet configuration, and then oppose it with this. Um, I said it was going to be the other way because we were going to use free core. So you do two lives and one negative, but we're not doing that now. So I'll connect them up. Right, so that's all connected up and my bed is back together. I've just got to now connect it to the fuse board. In the meantime, let's go and see what Craig's been up to. Whoa, that is so cool. Whoa, that. We are Christmas lighted right up, pirates. Yeah, we haven't got any lights on in here either, have we? No, well, there's no. there, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you turn that off, it's still bright. Look at that. Yeah, and it's not even it's... properly dark yet. Yeah. Boys would love that, and I've got a pre-decorated two foot Christmas tree coming because Bertie was moaning that we didn't have a Christmas tree. <laughs> I went, but we got a Christmas mask. He was like, yeah, I know, but I like Christmas trees, Dad. Yeah. He's like, all right, we'll get one. We'll get a little tree. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Then, we got, then we got both. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. So, right, I've just got to connect my... Um, connect it out. Yeah, thing up to the fuse board. Yeah, and then uh, we'll see if she works. Yeah. Now we've all been done to do this for a while. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Right. So I've, I've bunched up the uh, slat and cable tied it because we may move it. Same here. But we connected up. Let's go and see if we work. We'll know if it works because the light will come on on the switch and the blue light will come on on the charging port. Hey! The one on that side. Hey! And then is what I'll do is I'll just get the phone charger and see if it comes on. Awesome. She works. Finally done it. Not only that. And beautiful. Is this? It's Christmas time. Yeah, yeah mate. It's all we're missing now, the boys. Next, next week. Gonna do their Christmas next week because, uh, they were their mum over Christmas. Yeah. So we've just got back from Jimson's and the uh, petrol station. Check that out. Christmas That's... lights. Christmas lights. Hey. Yeah. That is mad. And the tide's down as well now, probably. Or pretty close to it. Too. But we've got some loads of shopping. We've got some ciders to celebrate. And uh, some diesel for the central heating because it is chappers. So, we are having a right feast tonight, pirates. We've got cheeses. Check out this port and brandy one. Um, we've got smoked salmon. We've got olives and garlic and peppers with chili cheese, chili beans. Because we're still working, we just got an oven meal. But basically... We're having a feast. Feast. Yeah. We're going to put some lights up in the torrential rain in a little while. Yeah. Give it a go. Bummer. Right, pirates, we've just battled the wave, uh, the wind and the rain to uh, put our new lights around the, uh, around the railings and uh, we're ready to turn them on. Are you ready, Craig? Whee! They go all the way around the outside of the boat. Check that out. Mate, at high tide, that's going to look amazing. Look at that. Yacht in though. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. Imagine that at sea. Right, <laughs> so I'm back on Indy now. Bloody hell, look at that. <laughs> uh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, at the moment they're in time. We'll see, right, and then.
come down into the boat. There's Christmas lights everywhere. Oh, wicked. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Oh, I hope you guys have got it all sorted and you're not too worried and stressed about it all. Christmas is about spending time with loved ones. It's not about money and how much money you've spent and, yeah. and all the rest of it. It's about little things like this. That's it. Oh, we just enjoy seeing her lit up. Awesome. We love it. Right, Pirates, so it's Sunday the 16th of December 2018. Uh, late morning on yacht in the low, and we're just chilling out. Right. We did loads yesterday, didn't we? Yep. So do. cool. Yep. And our boat looks like a UFO now at night. You see it from space. Yeah, awesome. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know we're not up to much at the minute. Um, but, you know, it's coming up Christmas now, and all the rest of it. Um, people have asked us um, what we're doing. Are we going to get her out of the water? What's going to happen? Um, I noticed yesterday that a couple of the brass screws in the back of my cupboard are going powdery. So we we'll definitely need to do the anodes. Mm -hmm. um, so Craig had a good idea last night. Um, do you want to explain it, Craig? Might uh, use what Stevie boy used up up the river a bit uh, on a cradle thing and come out for a few days. Where's that? What's it called? Fox Marine, I believe. Fox Marine. So yeah, they've got one of these things, these like slidey trolley things that go in the water and they pull it out of a tractor or whatever. Yeah. Um, so it just sits on a cradle. Yeah, and you pay by the day I think to be out. So go there, change the anodes maybe. Because yeah. um, we've got a bit of sailing we want to do next year. And they uh, got carried away with t-shirts and everything this year and everything else and um we need to do a lot of work on the underneath and stuff so it's going to take a while to do that lot so we we'll try and maybe get it so we give mike six months notice and be like right yeah. by september next year we want to be mastered and we'll just try and do the basic for now so we can get get a bit more use out of there again yeah, because we want to do the Isle of Wight again. We want to take the boys sailing. Stevie wants to go sailing. Yep. Pirate Pete wants to go sailing. Yep. We all just want to go sailing. Oh, yeah, it's hard to get your boat out and do work when you just want to sail. And Julian. Julian, have you got your bloody T-shirt yet, you hooligan? What are you saying? Come on. Where's your picture? Come on, where's your T-shirt? Is that a pirate's life, Julian? Ah... <laughs> oh.